So, we finally made it. The final Devil May Cry game I need to get the Platinum for. Every other Devil May Cry game is done. If you haven't seen those videos, I'd highly recommend going and checking them out so you can be fully up to date on all the trials and tribulations of this journey. However, it's not quite over yet. This is by far the most challenging Platinum I've ever gotten. And as the title suggests, that Platinum is Devil May Cry 5. There is one trophy solely responsible for ramping this Platinum's difficulty up, and that is the Worthy of Legend trophy. We have to clear every mission in the game with an S rank on all difficulties, including Hell and Hell difficulty. Hell and Hell is on another difficulty in its own right, but we'll get to that when we come to it later. But for now, my first playthrough, which I guess you could call the fun playthrough, where you actually enjoy the game, was just playing through it on human mode and getting all the trophies that I could. Okay, so that was the minute. I think. Otherwise, there wouldn't be the cutscene. Oh, first trophy. I would also be getting all the blue orb fragments and purple orb fragments in this playthrough. There we go. And another trophy. The first secret mission of the game. Hopefully, these aren't as hard as DMC4. We're gonna find out though. Easy one to start us off with. Of course, I'm on human mode for this playthrough, so finding this would be quite embarrassing. Alright, yep, there we go. First one done already. From there, I just continued on with the story. And I got the trophy for getting a double S combo. And there was a missable trophy for attacking the leg of this monster. And in the same mission, I got a triple S combo. Yeah, there we go, pet protection. I also got this trophy, but don't have any footage. Enjoy the taste of despair. Cool, got a to kill for a I got the obedience training trophy, which was for making the Cerberus boss skip a phase, I believe. Got it that time. Should be the last secret mission and the last blue orb. Unless I'm wrong. And I am. So is that the last blue orb I need? Yeah. Oh, I should get the trophy not dying between these two missions too. Don't you dare say it, Jackpot! Battle for the ages, I think that's one for... Completing two missions without taking damage, and a new job. I was cleaning up the remaining human mode S ranks, I got the trophy for defeating Eurism in one of the fights where you're basically not supposed to. Oh my god, we did it. Finally. Should get the ultimate ending. And that wasn't the only trophy I got. That's what a thousand demon kills. And I'm still trying to get this fucking S rank on mission 8. This is human mode, by the way. That should be an S rank. Yeah. Alright. All the human mode S ranks are done. So now it's time for Devil Hunter playthrough. Should I continue to get more miscellaneous trophies in my I Devil Hunter playthrough. My first playthrough somehow. There we go, where the red orbs grow. Back to the playthrough. Should be the last skill we need for V. So I have to get the S rank in that still. Eventually I moved on to Son of Sparta S ranks and I continued to get more trophies. 
Oh wow, another trophy in this mission. I only got that trophy. It took me like maybe half an hour to get no damage on Summer Smarter for this. Good practice for Hell and Hell though. So let's pop BS rank please. Alright, so we've got a trophy for completing it on Summer Sparta there. And this rank. Dante must die, S ranks next. I got yet another miscellaneous trophy on my Dante must die mode, S ranks. But when I started to get the S ranks of Dante must die mode, I had my first real hit of difficulty in the platinum. No, I'm dead. No way. It's impossible, man. Yep, 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 yep. Good, 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 come on, I thought I hate this game! Oh my god, just did it. Oh my god. Oh my god, give me the S rank. 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 Oh my god. Oh my god. Come on, hurry up. Give me the S rank. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Literally forgot that I unlocked the last of Dante's skills. So, here we go. So the trophy should pop, and it feels like it. Everything's at a hundred percent here. Where's my trophy? So it could be because I don't have the double Kalina and there's a missable one here and I missed this whole place in each of my playthroughs so far, so there we go. No, I've been here. I just didn't know what the question marks meant. Here is the last skill we actually need. Don't know how I missed this. Being the legend trophy, so the platinum's still on, and I still have to do hell and hell. Right. I can't be able to do hell and hell S ranks right now, so we're gonna do heaven or hell, legendary dark knight mode as Virgil, and bloody palaces, and hell and hell will do last because this was a pain enough to get through. So first I actually mopped up the remaining miscellaneous trophies I needed, such as this one where you have to complete mission 11 as Dante without any weapons. Here we go. Oh, this boss fight has been quite difficult before and I've actually tried out seeing double trigger call. Oh, got how scary you are when you're there. There we go, there's a trophy. On to Legendary Dark Knight mode. No, Hell and Hell. No, Heaven or Hell. So in Heaven or Hell, you one shot every enemy, so I completed it really quickly and really easily. There we go. Then I completed Legendary Dark Knight mode as Virgil, and because Virgil's always been OP, it was really easy. And then I fully upgraded Virgil for another trophy. So then it was time for me to complete the bloody palaces. Now, unlike Devil May Cry 4, you didn't have to get an S rank in any of them, so I could do this all with super costumes, which made it really easy. And like the rest of the games, they were structured basically the same. You have a boss after 20 or so levels. It's funny because I said it was easy, but I actually failed once as Virgil. He had the slightest bit of health left. I got caught in one of his judgment cut bubbles, but I don't have any footage of it, luckily. Didn't die that time. Oh, I'm gonna see my trophy. There he is. Then I completed it with V, then Nero, and finally Dante for the four Infernal Kings trophy.
Now it's time for Hell and Hell. It has the same basic premise as Heaven or Hell, except you die in one hit and everything else has 400% extra health. So it's really fun. I can't even do the first mission without getting hit, so it's, 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 it is fucking bullshit. Oh my! That should be the first S rank, considering it took me at least four attempts. It's not looking good for me. Fucking bollocks. Oh. oh, fuck this game, man. I hate it. Open up, what? Yeah, cool. Cool, 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 just kill myself. I'm right on track for this S rank. No. I've just messed up the S rank. I've just messed it up. Instant fail, brilliant. I hate this game! Oh, I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> What? So that's the first time it hasn't worked, that's brilliant. It's, it's over already. Just just restart. I think it's broken. Oh my god, finally. Just don't get hit. Just don't get hit. Oh, just go, just go, just go, just go. Just hit me, just hit me, just hit me. Come on. Come on, just hit me. Come on. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Oh, come on. Come on, hit me. Right, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Come on. Come on. <laughs> let's go, let's go. <laughs> Finally. Oh, as long as I just don't take it here and survive the countdown, let's save. I'm feeling it. I can do it. There we go, there we go, there we go. So is this mission 10 S rank first try? Is this mission 10 rank first try? Yes! Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, that's the hardest mission done. We're in, we're in the clear now, I think. Try not to jinx it though. Oh, he just chooses not to attack! One. Two. Go, 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 no damage, easy, easy, easy stuff, easy stuff. I won't even scared. Easy. Come on. Oh no, no, why isn't he doing it? What's the point? Because <laughs> I hold down the L2 to do it, and as soon as the cars starts, he goes, oh, I'll just sit here for a while. Oh, I thought change controls back. What? Come on, 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 come on. Yes, yes, yes. This better be it. This better be it. This better be it. This better be it. Yes, that's it. That's it. That's it. Easy, easy. Finally. Come on. I can't move. No! Oh my god, I fucking dodged it. Ah! Come on! Come on! Yes! Yes! Finally! Oh! Finally! That took two hours! Oh! Finally! Oh my god. Oh my god, it's gonna be an epic finish to this lap. Oh my god! Come on, skip through it now. Just skip through it now. Highway to hell. <laughs> oh my god, I've finally done it. <laughs> Worthy of legend. And... Devil <laughs> May Cry, let's go. <laughs> Wait, that seemed like an impossible task. We finally did it. <sighs>
So I saw some comments saying that I should add how long it took for me to get the Platinums in my videos. So I decided I'll bundle them all in here for you. So DMC HD collection, which is one, two and three, took 94 hours. DMC 4, 112 hours. DMC Devil May Cry 41 hours and DMC 5 took 98 hours. In total that was 345 hours or 14 days of my life platinuming this series. I mean surely that time commitment is worth a sub, right? Anyway, here's a playlist of my platinum videos and a playlist of my Devil May Cry platinum videos if you haven't seen them. So feel free to check them out.